Hello, welcome back to RimWorld. I'm picking up exactly where I left off. Um, people are still building. Uh, as I said last time, at the end of the last time, we're going to work on trying to get power over here. Um, but we finally got this going. I finally got a room for everybody. They don't have to sleep together anymore. It's just annoyed the tar of them. So we got that going. We, we finally have that going. We're just going to stick the doll both rooms. You get the dog, the dog is endless. Actually, is it bonded to anybody? Who's got the dog? Where's the dog at? Animals. Where's the dog? Social. Uh, Tony. Okay, so it's Tony's home, really. So put the animal sleeping spot in Tony's room. Okay. And there you go. That should be awesome, right? Everybody's content. Oh, one of these people don't have a bed. Okay. Um, we'll do this then. Is somebody not having a bed? Johnson didn't have a bed. Well, at least you have a bed, Johnson. It's not the best bedroom in the world, but it is a bed in a room by itself. That is a thunderstorm and a half right there. But we have food, but they're not storing it like they should. They actually used, you love most of it, I see. Um, this is all going to be my freezer section. So we're going to actually go ahead and order, I'm going to go ahead and, not orders, stockpile this. This is going to be food. I'm going to pause for a second. We're going to clear all, and we're going to have critical, and we're going to have food. Right now, I don't care what kind of food it is. Just store the food in this room. We'll sort it out later when we actually get to having a little tiny room just for meals. But we don't have that yet. Normally, I have, my, normally I have a room for meals, uh, raw meat, and meat animals, and the meat locker, and the other locker. It's kind of, I, I'm very weird at how I do this sometimes. But it's a thing. This door can be locked like 90% of the time. Uh, we're actually going to lock it right now. No one's allowed to touch this door until winter time. That's the winter time only door. Uh, as, I, as I figured out in my... Because when you're doing the travel people, you see, it takes for ever to research stuff. But food is very, very important at the very beginning of the game because you pretty much start with nothing. You actually start with no food in tribal. You have to hunt right off of that. So the whole deal is you have to you have to figure out how to do it. So that's just this is just a guarantee. You have to figure out how to do it. And the way I figured out how to do it was during the winter time you are able to open the door or have a vent or something like that and it actually counts as actually having a cooler so it would freeze the stuff all nice and neat in the room and it'd be awesome I actually did a bigger table. I don't know why I continue using that same table. Probably because I already had it built. I was just thinking, I'm probably using this table. And I could actually put the floors down here. There's no lights here. I need to put more power. Power. Where did a fuel generator right here, I suppose? That's to be great for getting power in this section. You're like, why are you putting that there? Because I need power right now. That's just the best place to put it. I can still put my structure, uh, my production tables in here as well. My butcher table. And my electric stove. And we'll also normally keep a fuel stove as well as backup. And it'll be all great. It'll be all gravy. There you go. 
Oh, they're getting some loving. Lovely loving. Uh, I can also get a wind turbine, which is why I wanted to clear all those plants. I'm actually going to do it this way. It's a lot shorter of a path for this stuff to travel. And we'll actually have another solar generator, I suppose, right here. There you go. We'll try to get some stuff built up and nice. I do want to make a little, a little walkway. We can utilize what I already have here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's cancel that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it there. Okay, so I want to wall this room off. Actually, I may build another room right here. have like semi indoor semi outdoor buildings it's gonna be I'm kind of making it weird this time just have to bear with me here oh the dog I restricted the dog um animal you're restricted to home so go eat Agus is stressed what do you need ate without a table the table's right there uh we buffed by Samantha we'll quit picking on her Rebuff but Tony, well she's with someone. Um insulted. Well quit being so mean. Uh wearing tattered apparel, I'm sorry. Uh innocent prisoner dies, I'm sorry again. I can't help it. Hungry, we'll go eat. Constrained clothes. Then why are you wearing clothes again? Not only that, he was wearing like four pieces of clothing. Look at that. Look how much happier he is. Look. So that's the thing is, I've noticed that on this before. The nudist trait, for some reason, they will always default putting clothes on. And it's like, okay, I don't want to wear clothes, but I'm wearing clothes. Well, don't put on the clothes then. I'm not asking you to wear clothes. These people can just deal with it. If you don't want to wear clothes, don't wear clothes. I'm not forcing you to wear clothes. Um, that's your business. If you don't want to wear clothes, don't wear it. Stupid. Just, it's just, it's just weird to me. It's like, okay, I don't want to wear clothes, but I want to be a jerk about it and actually complain about not wearing clothes. I don't wear clothes. I'm not forcing you. Why is he not considered got a roof? Why do you not have a roof on this building? This is a building. Roof it. I swear sometimes. Alright. We're getting there, though. I guess I can unpause it. Uh, low medicine. Yes, I am quite aware of that. I'm well aware of the medicine lack because people need to haul all the stuff we're just gonna have big red just be number one hauler in the universe uh, these are not these have got to be number ones anyway seven six why was Samantha the warden then if she's so great at it um, and we want to restrict Big Red to home. Please, haul all this stuff from the house. And whoever's cooking, please, please cook, Samantha. You also need to cook simple meals. You just need to cook it until we have, like, I don't know, 30? Right now, Samantha? Why are you asleep? 
I will expand this hallway down, or maybe make a hallway around and have more hot rooms out here. Or I may even get rid of this room altogether. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Agus is not happy. He's not happy at all. Well, be happy. There's joy, joy stuff here. Um. I was like, please stop that. We want to connect our power. See, this is all nice. I'll eventually like pave this off. Okay, so this is now a freezer. Big Red actually got burnt. Okay. That's something. Okay. Uh, we also need to set herbal medicine in here because it's being crazy. Items manufactured. We need medicine. Herbal. And get. Oh, I don't want this to be a medical spot anymore. Please get in the actual medical beds, please. So are we good now? Are we good? Or are we actually having a lot better of a time now? I think we are. I do believe we are. Why is it lagging suddenly for me? That's absolutely crazy. It's just started lagging for no reason whatsoever. Yes, everything's a mess. They are apparently cleaning. Um, we're actually going to deconstruct this table. And actually construct a long table instead. I should construct two long tables. Which is even better. Like a whole bunch of chairs. We're just going to like prep for the future. There you go. And this can be, I don't know, a little tiny section of niceness. I don't know. We'll figure something out here. I want to actually mine this wall section out there. This. I want to mine this out. What I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and put a wall in here. And I'll put a door so I can access this section out later. So this should be actually working, and it should be actually freezing this stuff. Frozen. Um, it does drop. As I said, I do want to hook the power grids up. Like, pretty badly when I hook them up. Okay, they are officially hooked up to each other. In fact, I don't even need to do them, because they are connected already. Which is great. So that's two power grids. Um, we've got a fuel generator that basically fuels pretty much the freezer alone. So as long as the fuel generator is going, everything stays frozen inside here. Which is great. So food stays good and all nice. And eventually we'll run power over here. Can I get everything up? And we'll be all dandy. It's starting to look better there. I do say, I do say that it's starting to look quite better and take off the shirt. I told you, I guess, to run around naked as much as you want. Don't care about what anybody else thinks or says. You do you and we'll just accept it. Because if that's what makes you happy and doesn't want to make you go crazy in this weird world, then do it. Because people are different. If you want to be a nudist, that's your business. Why did I get such a horrible negative alert? That sounded like someone died. Awesome. So they actually have food. They have medicine. 
One colonist is idle. Who's idle? Big Red. Um, work, Big Red. Can you help construct then, please? And be the repairer. And those can be your job. Well, besides smithing, but I don't have the stuff to make smithing yet, so it's fine. We'll him help construct. And we'll get a lot of stuff out of the way and done. I'm pretty sure Agus is going to run over here and put these clothes on. Even though he doesn't like it. Yeah. He probably will. So let's let them continue doing whatever they're doing right now. He's just sleeping, I think. Yeah, they're just sleeping. Uh, I can actually deconstruct this um, and this. We can butcher forever. Butcher creepers forever. We also want to make kibble until we have. We'll have ten, and we'll set the kibble pile to be here. This is the kibble pile. Uh, storage critical, and it's only only kibble, only kibble, and this is not kibble. It's also not hay. There you go. Cool. I think that's pretty dandy. You can also tell it to remove roof on that. So I can start deconstructing most of this. You're like, goodbye little hut. You've, you've held me well all this time. I need to move him to my base. But I'm not yet. I do also want to temperature vents. I do want to make some vents for people. I can make this his room for now. I can make this Johnson's room. And then just turn this to prisoners. Okay, so that's now can be disconstructed all together. Okay, goodbye little thing. You, you, you served me well. You served me quite well. So now, I'm a lot better off now, I think. I now have this walkway. And I also have a raid with two people. One wearing a very bad armored vest. Um, are they attacking now? Make sure it's everyone to home. Tony, you have a knife. That's fine. Samantha, you have a gun. Awesome. Gun. Nothing. You need to equip this limestone club. You have a gun. You have a shiv. And you have nothing. So equip this knife. Everyone, are we ready? Everyone selected except Tony. Where's Tony at? Tony's over there. Just didn't select her. That was really weird. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and restrict the animals to Animal Area 1. You're banished from sight. You're banished to the indoors. We're going to actually make this animal area one. You're like, but why? That way they can actually eat in the process if something crazy happens and I don't think about it. They still have food. 
like before, the dog almost starved because I'm a derp and I derped. Everybody selected. I'm gonna go ahead and draft everybody and move them out to here. We have Samantha. You hide behind the big tree. Good. You can hide around the corner. Um, Tony around the corner as well. Big red over here. Here. Get over here. Johnson. Lilith. Okay, are we good here? Okay, I think I'm as ready as I can be for this raid. I have three guns, three people with guns, and I'm fighting two people as soon as they attack me. They'll be coming from this way. So maybe I should move just a tiny bit, like maybe right here. I'll put Samantha here, put Johnson here, and put her here. Okay, now we wait. They need to hurry and attack before our people wander away. Okay. Okay, we're ready. We are ready. We're as ready as we can be. Awesome. Here they come. Let's make sure we don't die. Please, no die. Lilith, you need to move. Lilith, you need to move. She's on fire. She's burning. Oh, I didn't see that one get tossed. Okay, they're running. Okay, they're running. Okay. You need to undraft and put out this fire. You need to capture this person. Please. Put out this fire. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Who cannot put out fire? Lilith. You need to capture him. Samantha. Stop. Lilith needs to capture him. Cool. Or her. It. Whatever. Whoever this person is. They'll put the fire out. They're eating. And some of the people should go to medical and Tony should take care of them. Tony should take care of them. Now. Okay, so this just person needs to be treated. Prioritize treating this. Shot arm, shot off arm. Uh, so that's not a good thing. We're not giving you medicine. Okay, no medicine. We will strip you there. We'll do poor results, I don't care. I don't want this person. Not with a shot off arm. I don't want a shot off arm person. 
poor manipulation, poor eating, weakened eating, consciousness weakening, it's knocked out, but anyway. Everybody's tired. Everybody can rest. Uh, I can unrestrict the dog. And everybody's good? I think everybody's good. Will is getting sick. I know, right? It's such a harrowing thing. We don't have more of these things. Just in case, just in case that person dies. I don't think they will, because it looks just said fully healed on the situation. Strip the person, please. So who's my best? You are, I guess. Uh, we're gonna get you to wear this this armor. Samantha. Okay. I'm also gonna prioritize some hauling. Yeah, you should be naked, right? Okay. We're also going to release you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jess. Thank you for the armored vest that Samantha can wear now. Which is absolutely wonderful. Agus, Agus, what is your problem? <sighs> Quit wearing clothes. I swear, you're banned from clothing. You're banned from it. Stop it. Okay, you're banned from clothing, I guess. He is so angry when he's wearing clothes, and he wears them anyway. But anyway, uh, that's been a successful thing. They've officially released, I've officially released that person. So that's great. Uh, I successfully did a raid. No one got killed. It's just even greater. Uh, no one got really hurt either. I think I got burned a little bit from the Molotovs. They put out the fire. Um, they dug some more graves, but I don't need it yet. So, yeah, it's a thing. I think I'm going to leave it here, and we will continue next time. I just realized this thing's right here. I just realized this. Right there. Uh, we'll find out what that is next time, I suppose. Uh, until then. Bye.